It's time to breathe, bend, and stretch. Whoa. Hi, it's Bethany, and I'm in the Ocean of Emotions. And we're going to talk today about how we can have all different kinds of moods. Our yoga poses can do so many things for us. And one of the things that they do is they bring up different types of emotions within us. Each of the poses is designed to have a lot of different characteristics. That means they have a lot of different qualities, just like us. And when we do these poses, we will feel some of the qualities that are in the pose in us because we're the ones doing the pose. And so these emotions will come up. We will have ways we feel physically. We will have ways we feel emotionally and also things that we start to think about because of the way that we're moving our body. And so you know how the ocean can be very calm sometimes. Sometimes when there's a storm, it's really tumultuous and it's got lots of big waves and it's kind of choppy. We get this way too. We can be very still and very clear and we can also feel very mixed up and kind of all over the place. And so it's important to acknowledge this. And so yoga takes that into account. So as we practice today, we're going to go through a few different poses and take our body on a ride through the ocean of emotions. Here's what you'll need for your practice. You'll need some space so that you can move around. You'll want to have some water so that you stay hydrated. And you can grab your yoga mat and put it out. But if you don't have one, don't worry. It's totally fine to practice without one. Let's take a look at the poses we're going to do today. Today we're going to do Thunderbolt, Double Saddle, Forward Bend, and Shavasana. Come on, let's go to the mat. Come down onto your hands and your knees, and then tuck your toes under, and bring your feet so that they're together. Walk your hands toward your knees, and sit down onto your heels. My pinky toes always get caught back there, so I have to bring them forward. You may notice that there is a really deep stretch in your feet and that your big toes feel it a bit. This is definitely a pose that brings up some interesting emotions. We're gonna hold this pose for about two more breaths. So one breath is five counts in or seconds, in and then out. So 10 seconds for one breath. And then we're gonna take two, so that's 20 seconds, starting now. You can do this. Try to relax your mind, breathing in, two, three, four, five, breathing out. Two, three, four, five. Stay with it. Breathe in. Deep breath in through your nose. Good. And then breathe out. Good job. Come on to your hands and knees. And we're going to tap on our feet. Oh, that feels really, really good. And I want you to notice that you feel better right away. We're really resilient, okay? That means that we recover quickly. So sometimes when we think something is too much for us to handle, we just need to take a moment and take two breaths, just like we did in that pose. And you would be amazed at how much more relaxed you feel just by taking those two breaths. Something I like to say is, when we get stressed, take two deep breaths. Let's move into a pose called double saddle. Bring your knees apart, sit down onto your heels, bring your hands behind you, 
and you're going to ease into this pose. Now, this might feel like enough for you. If you don't want to go any further, you don't have to. Okay? We're going to tuck our tail under and scooch our seat right into our heels. And then if you can, go a little bit deeper. Maybe you can drop down on your elbows. Keep breathing. It's a deep stretch in your thighs. It stretches the whole front of your body and it helps to open up your heart. And if you're comfortable here and you're like, I can go much further, I think I'm fine. If your knees stay down onto the ground, you can lower yourself all the way down. Oh, it's so fantastic. I love the way that this feels. Let's take two deep breaths. Breathe in through the nose. And out through the nose. One more time. Breathe in. And breathe out. When we come out of a pose, we want to come up mindfully. So you come up as evenly as you can. And then we bring our knees together. And we'll move into our next pose. Let's go into our forward bend. Take your feet hip distance apart, bend your knees, and put your chest on your thighs. Put your hands on the ground. Relax your head. Breathe up and down your spine. Do you notice that when we were in the last pose, we felt kind of energized, and that this pose feels more calming, you are really learning how to use your practice to help you navigate your life, just like we're navigating our ocean of emotions. Take one more breath here, all the way in, all the way out. Relax your spine. And then use your hands to slowly come up. Wow, that's so interesting. I feel more balanced now. Like everything's a little bit more even in my body and in my mind. I'm going to try mountain pose just to see how I feel. Stand tall and notice the front side of the body feels open, the back side of the body feels open, and yet I still feel really, really strong, and my mind feels calm but very awake. Looks like this is working. Let's lie in Shavasana. Now, Shavasana, although it's a lying down pose where you don't do anything, <laughs> it's sometimes one of the hardest poses for people to do because we have to lie still and just quietly breathing, watch and feel all the emotions as they go through our bodies and our minds. And so I invite you to Lie in Shavasana as though you were lying on a float in the ocean or on a pool. Let's do it. Lie down and first start off with your heels touching and your arms very close to the sides of your body. And you'll probably notice that it feels a little bit tight. And I only want you to bring your feet as far apart as you need to, to feel your legs relax and your lower back relax. And then bring your arms out just a bit until you feel your arms relax and your shoulders and your chest and your neck relax. If you're not sure if you're in a straight line, you can always gently lift your head and look down 
to see, is my chin in line with my belly button? Yep, it is. Then you can put your head back down. Close your eyes gently. Relax your face. And take some deep breaths. And they don't need to be even. Just let the way you normally breathe ease its way back into your body. Now take a deep breath in through your nose. As you exhale, wiggle your fingers and your toes. And you can roll to the side and press yourself up. It was great navigating the ocean of emotions with you today. Until next time, bye.